video. Today's video is Glossy Box Unboxed with you and it is the month of February so I'm going to dive straight in and show you what's inside this month's Glossy Box. First of all, the packaging is amazing this month. In fact, it's my favourite Glossy Box I have received. I've not been subscribed that long to Glossy Box but this packaging is so cute, it's so retro, it's just absolutely great, amazing. I really, really, really like this packaging. This gorgeous like nude baby pink with the little love sign for February because it's Valentine's Day and this little like black and white stripes. I just think it's really edgy, really nice and I love it. So let's see what's inside. Oh and the packaging is so cute, it matches the outside of the lid. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. What a really, really nice design. I'm dead happy with this month's design. Okay, so I've got my little leaflet which basically says what exactly is inside the box but as you all know, whoever watches these videos, I don't like to know. I like to just see what's inside. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out of the box is something by Garnier and it is basically a Honey Treasured Ultimate Blends The Strength Restorer Balm. I'm guessing this is a hair mask or something like that maybe. Let's look at the leaflet, I'm going to have to find out what that is. Ultimate Blends Honey Tre Treasures Strength Restorer Balm. This hair mask harnesses and hydrating properties harnesses the hydrating properties of honey to leave hair nourished and glossy. Squeeze the excess water from your freshly washed hair and smooth generously over mid length and ends, leaving it on for one to five minutes depending on your knees before rinsing. This has actually come at an amazing time because my hair is in dire need of some seriously TLC like at the moment I don't know why it's been drying out quite a lot and I haven't dyed it in a while but it just seems to be like just drying out and feeling quite brittle at the moment and I think I probably need to look after it a little bit better I think my skin and my hair really struggle in this kind of like colder months in the winter I don't think it likes it so this basically is something that I'm definitely definitely going to do very very soon I might even do it tonight because it just needs it so I'm dead happy with that and I bet you it smells amazing as well because it's honey Okay, and so next we've got a face scrub by Noah Etene. I don't know how you say that, sorry guys. But basically this is a um, purifying youth, youth potion and it is a mask scrub. And I was just reading because I needed to work out what this really was because I wasn't quite sure. But it, using mineral rich volcanic paste, this cleanses and purifies, enriched with anti-aging ingredients. It also plumps and smooths the skin. And basically apply the pink mask the math. Apply the pink mask and watch it turn grey as it gets to work removing impurities and dead skin cells. Ooh, this sounds actually amazing. I'm dead excited to try this. Something that I've never ever tried before. I love face masks to bits. Like they are definitely my favourite go-to pamper routine. I've probably said this a million times, but I'm well excited to try that. I've never ever tried anything that's one turns colour on your face and two that is volcanic properties so quite happy to try that but I don't know how my skin will get on with that because I've got sensitive skin but nevertheless I love that. Okay and looking in the box I think they've been sneaky this month because they seem to have two nail varnishes and I think that's a little bit of a cop out. Maybe I should have one and maybe something else but nevertheless the first one I'm going to talk about is by the brand Me 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 Beat The Blues and it is this gorgeous oyster, it's called Oyster Gold and it's this gorgeous like gold colour. I'm just going to open it up and see what it's actually like because the packaging's not doing it any justice but it looks stunning and I don't really have that many like solid golds. I've got more gold glitters than actual just gold nail varnish. Eh, I got that wrong. I completely got that wrong. My bad. Sorry glossy box. I thought they were being a cop out and giving me two nail varnishes and I thought that's a little bit silly that but no this is a highlighter so I am sorry, I apologise for that. But basically, this is a Beat the Blues in Oyster Gold and it's a boost the radiance of wintry, weary complexion with this iridescent skin illuminator. Basically, it is a highlighter. I am so sorry and that is actually so exciting. I've never tried a highlighter that's like a nail varnish like this. And the colour is gorgeous. I haven't got that many like gold highlighters. Look at that, that is amazing. So I'm really excited by that. I'm not sure if you can actually see it. It's probably not blending out that great or showing up that much pigmentation, but just on the skin. Unless maybe you're meant to put it on under your makeup. Let me have a read. I am so bad at this. Let's have a proper read. Okay, so it says dot it along brow and cheekbones to highlight or mix it in with foundation for over all highlighting radiance. And that sounds actually like more like something I would rather do 
Now that I've got my product on my skin, it's actually a lovely sheen. It's very dewy and it's something that just blends quite easily and it feels quite velvety. So I'm quite excited to try that. And as I said, I thought it was a nail on a show bonus that is not. And it's something that's actually a little bit more exciting. But moving on to the nail varnish that's in this month's box is by the brand Ciate and I've heard of this and this is a stunning like mauve pink kind of like nude colour and this is in the colour Iced Frappy and it looks stunning except for oh no it's just spilled everywhere actually no it's not spilled everywhere it's already open oh that's a bit sucky look at the state of that oh anyway nevertheless it looks okay on the inside and I haven't actually got any nail varnish on at the moment so we're just going to try it over my thumb and it looks a stunning pink nude I am really happy with that colour it's definitely the kind of colour I love to go for at this time of year where it's like more of like a nude kind of like pink colour and I am dying in need of painting my nails I've been really lax with them recently and not painting them at all so maybe I should do that tonight with the hair mask and then face mask from somewhere yeah but I love that, that's definitely right on my street for colour and I'm really happy with that. And then the last thing in the box is a perfume and a really decent side perfume actually. And I'm not even going to try and pronounce this because it's French, probably something <laughs> Le de Rose or something. Rose perfume, oh I'm not sure about the scent, maybe I might not like this but let's give it a go. Yeah, it smells like roses but it's actually really fresh, it's quite nice. I think that's quite a lovely like kind of like very fresh kind of like subtle fragrance rather than something that's seriously overpowering but that is a brilliant sample size and that is a really good sample size for if you were just like traveling and you just wanted something for an overnight like spray to just wake up in the morning and feel a bit fresh that is actually quite a nice smell now that it's coming on me it's actually nice it might be a little bit too no offense a bit old ladyish for me but Nevertheless, it's something that I will definitely just use as kind of like a backup to all my other perfumes that I might own. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So there you have it guys, that's this month's Glossy Box Done Box video. I'm really impressed with some of the products I got this month and I got completely like knocked out by the fact that I got a highlighter, not, not two nail varnishes. But nevertheless, they both and all of the products are really good and that hair mask came at the right time because I'm desperate for it. But yeah, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. Bye.